After you finish eating, your blood sugar naturally begins to rise. And while this is normal, when left unchecked, it can lead to tiredness, cravings, and even serious conditions like diabetes. The good news? There are simple, natural ways to help manage your blood sugar levels without drastic changes to your routine. From staying hydrated to getting enough sleep, small actions can make a big difference in keeping your blood sugar steady. By making a few adjustments every day, you can take control of your health and reduce the risk of long-term issues. Let's take a closer look at how these easy habits can help you maintain healthy blood sugar and feel your best. 1. Take a short walk or do light exercise. Let's take a moment. You've just finished a comforting meal, maybe a warm plate of rice, a bowl of pasta, or a sugary dessert that hit the spot. You feel full, relaxed, maybe even a little sleepy. But inside your body, something is quietly changing. Your blood sugar is starting to rise slowly, silently. And for millions of people, this exact moment happens every day. Over time, it leads to constant tiredness, mental fog, and more serious health problems that can go unnoticed until it's too late. There is a simple, almost effortless way to bring that sudden rise in blood sugar under control, one that fits naturally into your everyday life. No pills, no gadgets, no complex diets, just your legs, your breath, and a few minutes of movement. The truth is, one of the fastest ways to lower blood sugar naturally is to go for a short walk right after eating. Yes, a walk. A short walk for just 10 to 15 minutes can make a big difference in how your body handles blood sugar. After you eat, glucose from your food enters your bloodstream. Normally, insulin helps move that glucose into your cells to be used as energy. But if your insulin response is weak or your body's already overloaded, that sugar lingers in your blood, building up to unhealthy levels. That's where movement comes in. When you move even lightly, your muscles don't wait around for insulin. They start pulling sugar out of the bloodstream and using it immediately for energy. It's a beautiful system, and it works every single time you activate it. A study found that walking for just 15 minutes after each meal helps lower blood sugar more effectively than taking a single 45-minute walk later in the day. This is because walking right after eating helps stop the sugar from rising too much, and it doesn't take much. Another study showed that just two minutes of light walking every 30 minutes throughout the day was enough to significantly lower blood sugar in adults with type 2 diabetes. Two minutes. That's how powerful this is. Research shows that even light activity, like walking after eating, can significantly lower blood sugar levels. For example, walking outside for 10 to 15 minutes, walking around your home, or climbing stairs can help reduce the rise in blood sugar after a meal. This simple activity requires no intense effort, just steady movement, but it can be highly effective in controlling blood sugar levels. And yet, it can help lower your blood sugar by 30, 40, even 50 points in some cases, depending on what you ate. That's the difference between feeling foggy or feeling sharp, between damaging your blood vessels or giving your body a break. The benefits of a short walk or light exercise after a meal can be seen within 30 minutes to an hour. Studies show that glucose levels begin to drop as your muscles use the sugar in your bloodstream for energy. Consistently incorporating this habit after meals can lead to more stable blood sugar levels over time. Next time you eat, don't just relax. Get up and move. Allow your body to do what it's meant to do. Each step is a step toward better health. Every minute matters. By making this simple habit a part of your daily life, you could shift from depending on medication to taking control of your well-being. 2. Drink water. Drinking water is one of the simplest yet most powerful ways to manage blood sugar levels. When you stay properly hydrated, your body functions more efficiently, and your kidneys can flush out excess sugar through urine. Without enough water, your body struggles to clear out this sugar, which can cause blood sugar levels to rise. Dehydration can also make your blood more concentrated, leading to even higher blood sugar levels. By staying hydrated, you support your body's natural ability to regulate glucose and protect your kidneys from the harmful effects of high blood sugar. Research shows that drinking more water can lower the risk of increased blood sugar levels. A study shows that people who drank more water had a significantly lower chance of developing high blood sugar compared to those who drank sugary drinks or were poorly hydrated. 
The study also found that regular water intake helps reduce insulin resistance, which is a major factor in developing type 2 diabetes. In addition to improving kidney function, water intake also supports better blood sugar control. A study showed that increased water consumption helped both healthy individuals and those with diabetes lower their blood sugar levels after meals. Proper hydration helps the body process glucose more efficiently, leading to better blood sugar control. The more hydrated you are, the better your kidneys work to clear out excess sugar. This prevents the buildup of glucose in the bloodstream, which is a common issue for people with insulin resistance or diabetes. A study found that increasing water intake enhanced kidney function and helped reduce blood sugar levels. This shows how important drinking enough water is for keeping blood sugar levels healthy. Research supports the idea that drinking more water can improve blood sugar regulation, particularly in people with type 2 diabetes. The study revealed that staying well hydrated helps the body respond better to insulin and reduces overall blood sugar levels. It also emphasized that regular water consumption is essential for better glucose management. The benefits of drinking water after a meal can start showing within 30 minutes. It helps your body process glucose and prevent blood sugar spikes more effectively. Drinking enough water doesn't just keep you hydrated. It actively supports your body's natural processes to regulate blood sugar. To ensure proper hydration, aim to drink at least eight cups of water daily. If you exercise or live in a warmer climate, you may need more to stay hydrated. Carrying a water bottle with you or setting reminders to drink can make it easier to stay on track. It's important to avoid sugary drinks as they can lead to rise in blood sugar. Focus on drinking water, which is the best option for maintaining healthy glucose levels. Three, make fiber-rich foods a regular part of what you eat. Fiber plays an important role in keeping blood sugar levels steady and supporting overall health. It's a type of carbohydrate the body doesn't break down. Unlike most carbohydrates that turn into glucose and enter the bloodstream, fiber moves through the digestive system without being absorbed. This slows down how quickly sugar is released into the blood and helps prevent sudden rises. There are two kinds of fiber, soluble and insoluble. Soluble fiber mixes with water and forms a gel-like substance, which slows the digestion of food and the release of sugar. Insoluble fiber supports healthy digestion and keeps the bowels moving regularly. Scientific research clearly shows that eating more fiber, especially soluble fiber, can lead to better blood sugar control. One study found that when people increase their intake of soluble fiber, they experience better blood sugar levels and less insulin resistance. That's because fiber slows the time it takes for food to pass through the stomach and intestines, allowing the body to handle glucose more gradually and effectively. Soluble fiber has a gentle but powerful effect. It slows how quickly the body absorbs sugars from food, helping blood sugar rise more steadily rather than quickly. This gives the body more time to respond with insulin. Soluble fiber also helps the body become more sensitive to insulin, improving the way cells take in and use glucose. A study shows that people with type 2 diabetes who included more soluble fiber in their daily meals had lower blood sugar readings after eating compared to those who didn't. The same study showed that eating more fiber could lower the risk of developing diabetes altogether and improve blood sugar control in the long run. These results support the idea that making fiber-rich foods a regular part of your diet is a smart way to manage blood sugar naturally. Over time, eating more fiber-rich foods helps keep blood sugar balanced and supports overall well-being. A long-term study shows tracked people for several years and found that those who regularly ate high-fiber diets were much less likely to develop type 2 diabetes. Fiber plays more than one role. It not only helps control blood sugar but also supports healthy weight and digestion, both of which are important for preventing serious long-term health issues. To bring more fiber into your meals, choose foods like oats, brown rice, quinoa, lentils, beans, leafy greens, broccoli, carrots, apples, pears, and berries. Small choices each day make a big difference. Try switching from white bread to whole grain or from fruit juice to whole fruit. Most adults should aim for 25 to 30 grams of fiber daily. Adding it gradually and drinking enough water will help avoid any discomfort as your body adjusts. The benefits of fiber-rich foods can be seen within a few hours as they help stabilize blood sugar levels. Long-term, they improve insulin sensitivity 
and reduce the risk of blood sugar spikes. Including more fiber in your daily routine is one of the simplest and most effective ways to manage blood sugar. These foods slow the body's absorption of glucose, reduce strain on insulin, and support long-term health all without medication. It's a powerful shift you can make just by choosing the right foods. Four, manage stress and calm your mind. Stress might not seem like something that affects your blood sugar, but inside your body, it can quietly shift everything out of balance. When you're under stress, whether it's work pressure, emotional strain, or even lack of sleep, your body responds by releasing stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline. These hormones tell your liver to release stored sugar into the bloodstream, thinking you need quick energy. While this response was helpful in ancient times when stress meant danger, today's daily stress doesn't require that same energy surge. So the sugar just stays in your blood, adding to already high levels. When this happens again and again, your body begins to lose its ability to respond properly to insulin. That's when sugar starts building up in the bloodstream. This pattern not only makes it harder to manage existing blood sugar problems, but can also raise the risk of developing type 2 diabetes over time. The connection between stress and blood sugar is well documented in medical research. For example, a study published found that individuals with chronic stress had higher fasting glucose and poorer glucose tolerance than those with lower stress levels. The body simply has a harder time processing sugar when it's stuck in survival mode. Another study observed that people with type 2 diabetes who practice relaxation techniques, such as guided breathing and progressive muscle relaxation, had better blood sugar control over time. These results show that calming the body helps more than just the mind. It has a direct impact on how the body handles glucose. Even short, regular habits can lower the body's stress response. Simple breathing exercises, done for just a few minutes a day, can begin to lower cortisol. Gentle activities like stretching, nature walks, or yoga encourage the body to shift out of fight or flight mode and into rest and digest. That's when the body becomes more insulin sensitive and blood sugar begins to settle back into a healthy rhythm. These habits aren't complicated. They don't require special tools or expensive treatments. Just a quiet space and a few intentional minutes can begin to change the way your body reacts to stress. One study showed that participants who practiced daily mindfulness and breathing for just 20 minutes a day had significant reductions in stress hormones and better blood sugar readings after eight weeks. These shifts were not the result of new medications or intense workouts. They were the result of consistent, calming habits repeated daily. Modern stress often goes unnoticed, but it's always there quiet and steady, building up day by day. This ongoing pressure affects the body in real ways, gradually raising blood sugar over time, creating even small moments of calm each day, whether through slow breathing, gentle movement, or quiet rest does more than ease the mind. It gives the body a chance to heal, to find balance, and to function as it's meant to. When practiced regularly, these simple pauses support more stable blood sugar and better long-term health. The benefits of managing stress can be felt within 30 minutes as it helps lower cortisol and stabilize blood sugar. Regular stress management improves long-term blood sugar control. Managing stress can have a significant impact on blood sugar control, especially for people with type 2 diabetes or prediabetes. While it won't cure diabetes, research shows that controlling stress can improve insulin sensitivity and lower average blood glucose levels, making diabetes easier to manage five. Prioritize quality sleep for blood sugar control. Sleep is essential for regulating blood sugar and improving insulin sensitivity. Lack of sleep can impair glucose metabolism, leading to higher blood sugar levels and insulin resistance. Research shows that just one night of poor sleep can reduce insulin sensitivity by up to 30%. Sleep deprivation also disrupts hunger hormones, triggering cravings for sugary foods. Prioritizing quality sleep helps maintain stable blood sugar and supports overall metabolic health. When sleep is disrupted, the body produces more cortisol, the stress hormone that triggers the release of glucose into the bloodstream. At the same time, sleep loss makes cells more resistant to insulin. That means even the same meal can cause higher blood sugar levels in someone who's sleep deprived compared to someone who's well rested. Over time, these effects compound. Inconsistent or poor quality sleep can raise fasting blood sugar, worsen insulin resistance, 
and increase the risk of developing type 2 diabetes even in healthy individuals. A study shows healthy young adults who were restricted to just four hours of sleep for six nights showed a 40% decrease in insulin sensitivity. Their bodies began reacting as though they were in a pre-diabetic state. Another study found that reducing sleep to less than six hours per night for just one week made it significantly harder for the body to clear glucose from the blood, even after eating healthy meals. Sleep also affects appetite-regulating hormones. Poor sleep increases ghrelin, the hormone that triggers hunger, and decreases leptin, the one that signals fullness. This imbalance often leads to cravings for high-sugar, high-carb foods the next day foods that further disrupt blood sugar levels. So not only does sleep loss raise glucose directly, but it also indirectly encourages eating patterns that spike it further. Deep and peaceful sleep helps the body control blood sugar by making insulin work more effectively. While sleeping, the body resets and balances important hormones that manage glucose. One study showed that sleeping only four hours lowered the body's ability to use insulin by 30%. Another study found that poor sleep was linked to higher blood sugar in adults. Getting seven to eight hours of good sleep each night supports steady blood sugar and lowers the risk of type 2 diabetes. A study showed that people with type 2 diabetes who improved their sleep over six months saw clear improvements in both their fasting blood sugar and A1C levels. These changes happened gradually, but were consistent and lasting, even without any changes to their diet or medication. The key difference was simply getting better sleep. The benefits of quality sleep can be seen after one night with improved insulin sensitivity and blood sugar control. Consistent good sleep helps maintain stable blood sugar over time. Sleep is more than rest. It's a powerful process where the body repairs and strengthens its systems. Every night of good rest helps the body become more responsive, more balanced, and more resilient. It's one of the few tools that doesn't cost anything and takes no effort beyond creating space and consistency. Turning off screens an hour before bed, keeping a cool, dark room, and going to bed at the same time each night are all simple shifts that can transform how the body handles blood sugar. In the long run, good sleep is a quiet but powerful force in building a healthier, more stable life. By making these simple changes a part of your daily routine, you can take charge of your blood sugar and improve your overall health. Remember, small steps lead to big results. Stay consistent and you'll start feeling the difference. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips on living a healthier life.